so we're gonna head out for another trip to the junkyard. I got some parts I need for the cars, and we're gonna see what we can find. All right. All right. So I found a one eighty-nine Civic. The bezel is very nice shape, so we're gonna try to get it out. I also got full brake for the front of my uh, the brake system, whole arm and everything, rotor for the two thousand. We're gonna try to get this out now. All right, so today we're running into some problems. I cannot get this axle bolt off at all. It just seized on there. I don't know what the heck. I've heated it, done everything I can think of. So luckily I have this whole bar. We're gonna pull the whole axle out and then just replace the whole freaking thing. It'd be easier just to do that than it will be to try to freaking do anything else. So I bought an axle. We have this whole assembly here. So I'm going to pull the rotor off, brakes, everything, and get it good. All right, so let's get it started. All right, so I disconnected the brake line. So that's good. All right, so we got the uh, brake caliper off. Got it up here. Can't get the bracket off. I'm going to try again. I'm trying to use this bracket, but I'm to pull the brakes off next, and then the rotor should come out if I can get it off. So there are brakes. We're going to put these over here. So I just got to get this bracket off so I can get the disc out. And then uh, we're going to loosen up. I've got all the bolts. These, This is loosened. Pull the pin out of that. That's loosened. The bolt in at the bottom is loosened right here. So we're good to go. Now I just got to get this off so I can get this off. All right. All right, so we got everything off. Got the caliper off. Got all the other stuff here. Brakes, everything's up here. Got to break these loose down here. And then we can try to yank this thing out. See if we can get it out of here. All right, so I had to go buy one of these. Put it under that ball joint. And, uh, pop it out so now everything is loose except for this so I'm gonna get up under there pry that freaking thing out and I'm gonna drop this axle out all right and we have success so this is off now I'm just gonna take out this bolt drop this sucker out of here I get the new one out of the box lay it up here and get it ready to go on all right so I think this one's I'm gonna have to end up getting new new tire out ends here soon so this actually was pretty easy to pry out you just basically there's a spot right here on the transmission which you can just put a little pry bar and pull it pops right out should come out pretty easy all right so i got the new axle out looks good it's the same size it's just a little different um this is the one that has the little thing where you can like I don't have ABS, but that's what it's for, it's for ABS. So, apparently, no matter what you buy, they always freaking give you the same one, it doesn't matter, but it's all good. It'll fit, it'll work, who cares? I know I have ABS, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so let's put this sucker in. This is the hard part, is lining up the axle here to get it in there, because you have to basically stick it in the transmission, and you have to put a switch in, turn, basically push in quarter turn push in quarter turn push in until it actually goes in you'll actually feel it snap into place and then we'll get everything else put back together I just stuck this in here for right now I'll put this over here this is the replacement parts all right we got the new axle in it's all the way flush up against the transmission locked in when you put this in sometimes it doesn't want to go all the way in it'll hit it just do quarter turns push quarter turn push quarter turn push just keep doing that eventually you'll push it and it'll snap into place it shouldn't have to like beat the hell out of it it should just snap right in just a good push you get it once it locks in you're good to go this is locked in so now i just got to put the rest of the stuff together and we should just about be in business all right, so everything is back together. The axle's in. Definitely, once you get everything done, you gotta um, 
basically torque this down 180 foot pounds um, hit the edge of this and bend it in I haven't done that yet because I got to take this back off I got to get tie rod ends so these tie rod ends are freaking done um, I'll just go ahead and get those so other than that everything is rebuilt it's uh, good to go so tie rod ends a couple of other odds and ends and Put the tire back on and go order those parts.